Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup Skin. So today I have for you none other than three of the Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks. But in addition to that, Debs and I have collaborated. That's Debs from The Edit by DH. She is doing an exclusive Victoria Beckham all makeup look. And I'm showing you three shades from the nine colours that Victoria Beckham has released. These are basically nod to the 90s. They're all about the journey that Posh had during the Spice Girl era and the 90s colours, the the berries, the reds, the sort of mauves and nudes and browns that she used to wear. So I'm going to do swatches in this video, lip swatches, and I have a ton of comparisons. And I think the results will shock you. A little bit about Debs. Debs has her own Instagram and her own YouTube channel, which I'll link just here. She does luxury, high-end, in-depth reviews. As a makeup artist, she'll share with you all the tips and tricks you will ever need to know. And I would like you to go and check out her channel and her Instagram. Follow her. Her creativity and her style is so chic, it's on another level. I'll just put a picture of her here for you. So there are all her details. Please check out her Victoria Beckham exclusive makeup look and let's get started. So the first one I have is Spice. Just look at the packaging. And the next one I have is Pout. Again, same packaging, but obviously unique in the shape and the colours that are on there. Wow, these just glide on, guys. You can see for yourself. I have to say, this is an unusual colour for me because it's like a pastel light pink. I really like this one. They're so comfortable on the lips. And they feel so luxurious. So I went for a nude and a pink, and then I thought, I have to try a new red. If somebody's come out with a new red, we need to try it. So the colour is Pop. Wow, just wow. Now, in no way is this matte or are these lipsticks matte, but they aren't so shiny and so satin that they're making me feel like I wouldn't wear them. There we are, the three lipsticks that I got. This red feels expensive on my lips. This red was really easy to apply. I think, I think it's like, I don't know, it's like a gloss balm lipstick. It's so interesting. 
I think I'm going to have to get the other colours. This is the kind of red you can just throw on and just head out the door. So guys, this is the red in natural light and what I will do is I'll put on the pink and the nude in natural light for you too. So guys, this one is Pout. Complete natural light. I have to say they are still so comfortable. And here is Spice. Now this is the one that's intrigued me the most because I think I've got some dupes for this but there's something about the colour that's spicy that I think is quite unique. So I hope you enjoyed the natural lighting. Let's get some dupes and comparisons done. So guys, that's what they look like on my lips. I have pout on at the moment with a little bit of Fenty Beauty Gloss on. Uh, this is in Hint Hint. Now, what I'm going to do is I've picked red dupes or comparisons and then nude and pink dupes and comparisons. But there is one shocking revelation, so let's go ahead. I wanted to talk about the packaging. So this is my first dip into Victoria Beckham Beauty. I am gonna get more. I really want to try the Kajal and then the eyeshadow pots. Now, each lipstick has its own tortoise shell style um, print on there. They have VB on the top. The VB as well that you saw in the swatches, there's VB running through the lid of the lipstick which disappears when you use it. Um, they're very heavy. The only criticism I have at this point is you get two grams of product. Now, a standard lipstick, I believe, has 3.5. Yes, 3.5 grams. So we are losing out on 1.5 grams. I would like to ask VB, where is that 1.5 grams for us? Is it because it didn't fit into this sleek design? I do like the component. I think it's lovely. It's ultimate luxury because it's what she says she's trying to go for. She's trying to reinvent the luxury behind lipsticks. So let's go ahead and look at the comparisons. I'm going to put Spice and Pout on my arm. I have to say these are very luscious lipsticks. They're very rich. They're very creamy. I think they're a new take on Satin. Please Me by MAC, which you can see has come out deeper. Then I have this liquid lip from Huda Beauty in the shade Bombshell. Then I have this Chanel lipstick in the shade Emotive. Then I have Super U from Charlotte Tilbury. And remember, these are the two Victoria Beckham ones. Then I have Super Nude. See, so everything is lovely, but these two colours are the different ones. I have my Gucci Painted Veil. It's not like Spice. Then I have the infamous Pillow Talk. Not bad, but it's not the same pink. Then I have Velvet Teddy. Then I have Charlotte Darling. Again, it's not, there's no ginger element to it. So guys, there's a ton of comparisons. So what I'm trying to say is these two are for me reigning quite unique. Two unique past shades worth considering. So in terms of red, you know I got the colour pop. So the three that I went for was a nude, a nude pink and a red because red fascinates me and quite like posh. I did read up that she said that lipstick in general fascinates her and she felt that every woman needs a red 
along with a lot of conversations with Mr. Valentino. So it really inspired me to get the red. And if anybody's making a red in the beauty industry, I want to try it because it's a very hard color to get right. I have picked out three high-end and one drugstore comparable colors. So let me show you those. So on the back of my hand, I'm going to swatch pop. Then one of my all-time favourites is a limited edition Rouge Allure number no. 1 from Chanel. I thought this was one of the most similar, but can you see there's a coral payoff and a brightness to poshers on the end of my hand. I have Velvet Ribbon from Lisa Eldridge, which I also thought was quite similar, but again, there's something unique about the red from Posh. My mum calls it a tomato red because there's a tomato hint to it. Then I have from Dior a lovely colour called Victoire, which to me is more cherry red. And then a very interesting find in my collection was this Superdrug uh, MUA, so Makeup Academy Lip Crayon. And that is only three pounds, but I felt that was more cherry of them all. Now that I look at it, we've got Posh, Chanel, Velvet Ribbon, Lisa Aldridge, Dior, and then Drugstore. Just look at the saturation of all those colours. Here they are on the back of my hand. From the right, we've got the cherry from Superdrug. Then we've got Posh, then we've got Chanel, then we've got Velvet Ribbon, and then we've got Dior. To me, Posh's shade is standing out. So guys, during my sort of journey into Posh's lipsticks, my final thoughts. So they are saturated pigment, lip balmy, cushiony goodness and are very, very nice. There's some berries and mauve tones that are available, which I might look at for you. However, my final verdict is that they are lovely and they are approved. However, I wouldn't get all of them because there are a lot available on the market. As you can see, we saw all the dupes or comparisons and I think it's a really nice treat and it's a really nice luxury thing to have. There's only two grams of product. We need that extra 1.5 for what we're paying for. So that should be something that I think companies need to consider. We should be getting not the standard size, but we should be getting a fair amount for our money. They look great, they feel great, and I feel that the colours were very good. A, ni a nice choice of nine lipsticks must have been very hard to curate. Please don't forget to check out Debs's beautiful video on her full VB makeup look. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I did mention that I'm waiting on one product to arrive in the post for my thousand subscriber giveaway. So please be sure to subscribe and I will give you all the details on how everyone should enter or get bonus entries. Please let me know in the comments below what you think, if there's a colour you really want me to try, and I will try and find dupes if I can and regularly post on Instagram where I can. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.